All right, what is up everyone? Here we are, another beautiful day in paradise cruising. We are about to hit at least one yard sale that we know of. And I think it's right there. To be honest, I see it. So we're just gonna turn down the next street. But then we gotta go home and wait for the cable company uh, between 11 and one, well, internet. We're not actually getting cable. 11 and one they're coming so everything should be going way more smoothly with selling stuff online YouTube everything so we've been we just, just have a lot more time because we're either having to drive to his mom's or drive to Starbucks and sit there for like six hours so no I think it cuts through though cuts through though this guy has the shop though like, how did they even get away so with that? But I guess the people in this neighborhood can afford it. And I remember staring at the ceiling, trying to deal with emotions and no one feelings. All I wanted was a picture on my wall. All right, we're going to head mount just to grab the shot real quick of this place. This yard sale dreams. The Trivia Arcade. The Shining, I did the Shining. <laughs> so good, but I haven't already. Right. This good movie though? You, you yeah. seen it? No. So good, so good. Smart cookie don't crumble. If there's any DVDs there that we might want to watch, give them a gander. Let me say, dude, so classic. We have more hats than here. If you're into hats, there's another bag of hats. They're all sports hats and they're non sport. This is a cool bag, kind of, though. And it is a cool bag. Just the purple. And there's two, two bags of handbags. I am also selling. Too, ex too uh, expensive initial ones to, <laughs> if anybody's into them. But. Packer's Dex, doesn't he sell all these things? Like, take these things too, but... Yeah, I think he would. Buy shit here. I don't know about the sports memorabilia, like what it, what the attraction is, but people buy it. Oh, really? Yeah. Danger head stop, Philly's country. That's really cool. That is cool. Huh? You gonna walk up to the DVD? Huh. We ran them. Right. If I watched anything that we're interested in at the first sale, but we're hitting uh, yard sale number two now. Just gonna look around, see if we can see anything cool. Looks like they have a lot of stuff. Elmo. These are cool. Oh my god, that thing's super cool. So creepy though. I wonder who it is though. It's probably someone. It's probably like the guy that started Summer's Point. I mean, 
if you're looking for like a nice piece of furniture like 24 bucks isn't that bad for an antique because that stuff's truly old What'd you say? Uh, yeah, where where at? Around here? Yeah. Yeah. A lot, a lot of work. Yeah. Well, we do foreclosure cleanouts, so uh -huh. it's, we know about the work that goes into yeah. it. It's insane. But a storage unit would be. We put a twenty by twenty unit, and you have to get it out. Well, then they take your like two hundred or whatever if you don't clean it, right? right. Yeah. That's so, cool though. So we worked real, real hard and I'm not close to even breaking even yet. You know, I just have a lot of merchandise, but it's just going to be slow trying to get it. Is all the Tweety stuff from there or that's a different? That's all from there. It is. Oh, so they had a big collection. Yeah. It's still, apples. it's cool stuff though. Yeah, it is. Uh, eventually the right people will come along. I had a buyer, a buyer yesterday who went to Tweety and bought a lot of stuff and then I found another box of Tweety that I wish I had taken his number to call him. Yeah, you all, oh, yeah, to, uh, you should have. Um, I, I'm not real computer savvy. I tried posting uh, a few things, but it's a lot of work though. It is a lot of work. By the time you do it, then and you're yeah, hours and, and hours and hours later, you make like $20. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, We didn't buy anything at the yard sales because pretty much there wasn't anything we wanted. But uh, we're now waiting for the Comcast Xfinity people, patiently waiting. Because they give you like a three hour time slot that you have to just stay at your house. So they really make you wait around for them. What's the claim? this time instead of one of our boys might be there between 11 and 1. That and doesn't make any sense. These earrings that we found, the Avon ones, um, she's rocking them. And they look so good. All right, we got our internet connected. Uh, we're good to go. So we got Xfinity, Comcast Xfinity. Um, it's gonna be like $58 a month, $60 a month. But we got premium internet and we have to rent this box for $10 a month. So I just started uploading a video though and it already was at 10% in like five minutes. And it says like 20 something minutes, which would usually take like two or three hours. 
So well worth it. We're going to be uploading way more consistently now, every day at least. Instead and of uploading a video that was from like two weeks ago. Yeah. Not literally, real. but like a week. Like it'll be more like. The video that's coming out today is from the camper. So. Few, few days ago. Last weekend, right? The camper. The first time when we went to pick it up. The RV. Oh, uh, so yeah, that was like five days ago. Wasn't it Sunday or Monday? I don't know anymore. It was like five or six days ago. So it was Saturday like five days ago. Or a week ago. No, it was Sunday. So. We're going to try and get back to like maybe two days before. Or one. Literally the day before uploading after. Hopefully. But we're doing a scrap run. Which I think. If we're feeling up to it. Hit. There's three water heaters sitting out for us, so we could just hit the OC, Margate, and Brig, and just get them all if we wanted to right now. I think that's the best choice, because they're going to just end up going away if we don't get them. So we're going to Ocean City to get a hot water heater right now. Hopefully it's still there. We got the message a couple days ago from uh, Greg Alcino's friend, so we'll see. Hot water heater day. I think there's three out for us. Pretty sure. Nothing cool in here. You would, you would have thought that, right? Look at that hardware on that drawer. That is interesting, intricate, and really sick. All right, this is the second claim. The first one was gone already, but we're gonna see. Maybe they got rid of the water heater too here. So, it's looking like they did. So sleeping on scrap just totally screws you in the end because now all the scrap's gone already. But these guys are going hard. They ripped off this whole thing. Uh, one out of three the first two we got shot down on but I see this water heater it's still here this bent up hand car Dude, this isn't a fairy table. This is a church table. <laughs> Dude, wow. 
what they buy. What they can buy this time. What is it? It's just like a picnic Someone table, but it has a table. painted scene with like a king and a queen. And like you only paid three for it? Yeah. What a good deal. Oh yeah. Great deal. <laughs> you should have waited until it was 50 percent off. No one else she was gonna wait. buy it. She wouldn't wait. Oh, is that an estate sale? Yeah. Oh. Where? Longport. Uh, Why didn't we go? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no. No, you have to go over and take a shower right What do you feel about this table? It's stupid. Be honest. It's so dumb. You'd never get 300 for it again. 300 Someone, they wouldn't give you $20 for this table, dude. So why'd you buy it for 300 She did. Oh, they actually painted it. Yeah. We'll see. It's going to be cool. I just see the top of it. All right, let's go. This is a magical table that, like, Gan it. Gandalf and fucking Frodo would hang out and eat dinner on this. Can you get this, dude, because Here. you can't scratch it. I'm not going to scratch it. You are. Are we just bringing it right in, or? If you need my help, I can help you. Know sad guy? So yeah. then I says to him, I says, there's nothing better than a father-son table carrying scene. Smack dab in the middle of your block. No, wait, 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 I can't, I can't. Let's see the, what do you mean you can't? Do you need? All right. You got it? I got it. But it sucks. Slow. What a table. Where'd you get that? Woo! What a steal. Nowhere anybody ever needs to go. What a steal. Dude, we're going into the Griffin. <clears throat> oh, shit. You, hold on. All right, it's going through. Like, this is a fucking waste of time. Why? Because oh, shit. it's always some shit. That's not good. Just don't say anything. Well, Cam, okay. it gets crazy. You know, the furniture in there. Where is it going? Well, we have to you what because it has to go the other way <laughs> oh this is cool we had to move furniture no matter what today because of the so we had to go buy more furniture because we had furniture right, moved. you gotta go that way though you gotta turn around yeah the because other side it's gotta go that way oh whoa it's got a unicorn on it oh. on the rat frog rat. it's cool though really cool but it wasn't worth three, I'll tell you. Nope, I told her to wait till tomorrow. She could have got it for a buck fifty. That was three hundred bucks. And there was one in the garage for six. It was 60, hand painted though, wait. wasn't it's it? It's cool though. But what's up with this? I don't know. They got paint on it somehow. Who cares? Three hundred for that, huh? When you can get a dinghy for a thousand. Yeah. Your investments are all fucked up. Super fucked up. <laughs> no, it's just a paper that they put down on it. You can get it off. <clears throat> Maybe, maybe not. No, it's coming off. No, huh? you can. I got it here. I got See it? Now it's cool, though. You have to admit it's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, a lot of work went into it. Yeah. And it's solid pieces of wood. I bought it actually to put out back. And then when we got Look, it. It comes off. You just need like a little. Like a sponge. Scraper thing. I got it to put it out back, and then I thought, oh, maybe I don't want to put it out back. Maybe it's cool in here. All right. Phew. What is up? We are doing a flea market tomorrow, one we've never done before. It's about 15, 20 minutes away from where we live. It's in Galloway. But we wanted to show you guys all the awesome stuff. Well, not all of it, but a lot of stuff that we got from the foreclosure antique house in Dorchester. Um, we ended up selling a lot of this stuff. We threw out a lot. We gave a bunch to Taco Stacks. And this is what's left all hand-picked a lot of this stuff. We didn't really show what we were taking personally, but everything in this case, yeah. Those glasses, no. Okay, not the glasses. So almost 90% of this stuff in this case we got from that house. But all the stuff we were taking personally, we weren't showing everything. So I built this little case to display little trinkets, but all this stuff, a lot of like, all this is occupied Japan. These are karate patches stacked, lighters, stuff that's not really worth much. Well, this stuff might be, I don't know, hand painted chase. Not really sure what that means, but that's from occupied Japan. Same with this. T 
Taeyo China. And this little thing, this little box is super cool. Also says, made by hand in Occupy Japan. So that's a cool little box. I don't know if you guys can even see that little patented thing. It was 12 bucks when they bought it, so it's probably worth 12 bucks now, if that even. But yeah, we got this little case. This stuff didn't, this came from a different house, right? Mm -hmm. We're taking that stuff. But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna do a once over, like a quick, just glimpse of the stuff, and then I'm gonna set the camera on a tripod, and then we're gonna just pull stuff out and talk about it for a minute. Um, but all these boxes came from Dorchester. I'm gonna say 100% of all this stuff. So, hopefully the camera focuses as we pull stuff out to look at it. But yeah, all that. Do you wanna load this stuff? Or just wait? Like put it in the back? Yeah. Or should we just... Uh... I was just saying. All right, we're gonna try and just talk about as many things as we can and still do this somewhat quick. So we're not sitting here all day. Getting eaten by bugs. But, I don't know, this vase is pretty much not worthy of even talking about, but this little thing is unmarked. This is like a cowboy boot that is legitimately metal. So I think it's aluminum or pewter, probably. But that's a cool, cool find. It's a cowboy boot. I don't know what these are, but it says made in the USA. Nice little snow boots or something. Some type of boot. Hand painted in Japan, these two little sweepers. They're actually Dad was trying to snag these shoes. Maybe you should just give them to him. He doesn't want them for real, does he? <laughs> no. This pitcher. melted. It has like some colonial like windmill kind of thing on it. Are we showing everything that's in here? Like cool stuff. Once we get to a point where it's just brutal, we don't have to. All right. Liberty Blue, historical colonial scenes, Paul Revere made in England. So the British are coming. Pretty much, I guess, is the scene. There's two of these. So this is all the stuff we're taking to the flea market tomorrow. This is, it says Whole USA. It's a candle holder. And it has like a, I guess it was made in the United States. It says TL or T2 and then it says 55. Maybe it was made in, I don't know. 55 seems not old enough. That's still so cool though. Still really cool, you know, a fireman. 95, yeah. still vintage. Still vintage. These are still Roseville pieces. We didn't sell all of them. There's, we have like 10 at least. So I don't know the worth of these, if they have any value like people were saying. Because online I was literally seeing them for really cheap. And this says like $2 on the bottom. I don't know when they were bought, but hopefully they have some value. That's more Roseville. There's more in there, but. So there's like a bunch of Roseville still left. We didn't sell, oh, this is whole art USA. I don't know what that means, but that and the other piece were both whole. These plates. Royal visit. These old picture frames. Jack Woodson painting. These are like really cool designs. All three of these. I took the pictures out because they were just beat, but. I feel like this is a dog bowl or something. It definitely is. 
It's so cool though. It is really cool if it was a cat out now. This was made in China. So it's not that old, but someone will still buy it if they have that certain kind of dog. Probably wouldn't let my dog drink it. Was... Someone would though. Someone might. Did you shoot in this? Yeah. Here. That'll probably fall and break. But this mirror, which I thought was cool, you guys can see yourselves in it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see the camera. <laughs> you can see the cam. That was kind of funny, as if you're talking directly to people. Well, I am. So. I'm saying, like, that's classic. Old Wheaties box. I guess it wasn't vintage though, because I, I think Taco Stacks probably would have grabbed it if it was old enough. It's still cool though. This. Is this from that house? Yeah, all this stuff is. We didn't even Your unpack any of it. dish that I gave you to use in the shower is like a part of this. But it was from a different house, so. Made in Germany. German Dominican Republic. Or not. I don't know. The Dominican Republic was colonized by Germany, I guess. It says, fine china, etch cobalt. Yeah, so this is cool. Really And cool. I love this color. This is my favorite color. It's like sea glass blue. But it's not like see-through sea. It's not actual sea glass. But this color blue. It's pretty. Soup. Soup. Main Street sign, always a favorite for people, these signs. Ooh, I just have like 20 bug bites on me, it's cool, though. Do you want to just call it even? No, we can just keep going. <laughs> no, dude, if that's abusive, just go it inside. It's abusive, like, when I'm about to lay down at night, I just have to scratch my skin off. Bug bite life? these bugs, and then bug spray is just... A mug from West Germany. Yeah. But you see the, like, welts on my legs just from wild. Not even worth it. You should have had pants on. I get it. Birds gotta eat too, but like. Quinsana. I don't know what that is. You Menin. It's yeah. cool though. It says victory container for fungus infection of the feet. Mm, yum. What is this? That thing's a key holder, right? I'm gonna show that. This is Roseville. So this is cool. This is a super cool hole. This is hole. Ew. I don't know what that was. Hole. I don't know what hole is. This is a key holder. Not bad. That's pretty decent. It's cute it's a for bit like. Dirty. Yeah. A little. It's an understatement. So this is lacquerware, metal based lacquerware made in occupied Japan. And it has palm trees on it. Or bamboo, I meant to say. Not palm trees. Metal. What is that? Metal base. It's cool. Really cool. This, is there a mosquito on me? Because he just flew at me. Do you see him? Is it on me? No. He no flew way. away. I saw it. Uh, gross. This, ew. Hoods. Sarsaparilla something. And bitter orange compound. Gentian. Yeah. Sarsaparilla alcohol. 13%. 13.5%. It's a... Stomach preparation. Stomatic preparation for stimulating the appetite. Uh huh. It's Weird. But it's like full. I've seen stuff like this inside of like antique shops. Like Windex. Like old vintage Windex or like uh, Vicks Vapor Rub, like in the old glass bottles. But Never seen this before. Full, but it's gross. We got a cast iron gingerbread cookie uh, cutout tray. Never seen a gingerbread one. I've seen corn ones a lot, but never like this. I think this is worth 10 bucks. This? I did take this for myself. Forgot about it because we have so much shit, but I thought this was cool. For some reason, I like like crystal balls. This isn't a real one, obviously, but or maybe it is. Maybe you should keep it. I don't know. I would keep it if you if you want it. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. Mm -hmm. So this is why. Alright, so we have a whole entire set of these things, and they're all from Occupy Japan. I don't really know, it's a whole set, plates, pitchers, oil things. I'm not going to pull them out because it's just so over the top. They're all packed together. But there's Med Hess trucks. This is a police car, Hess police car. I don't know how old these are. I guess it would say it says 1993, so they are vintage. But uh, taco stacks would have taken them, I think, if they were worth money. So I don't know. I guess they're worth a few dollars, probably five. I'm just gonna cut the audio because it's too much. Where are you done out here? Just go inside. Yeah, and I'll pack everything up. There's nothing else to show. I'll just take the camera off the thing and show it through everything. You know what I mean? All right, I'm just uplifting the camera and just showing you guys over here because it's just so buggy out here and over the top. So there's like tons of these plates of different like historical moments throughout American history. Uh, Native American plates uh, and they say like Royal Visit original painting by Jack Woodson United States Historical Society there's tons of those this is all filled with these like I think they're crystal and this set that I was talking about cloves salt more old Hess trucks there's tons of these in the house we actually put them out to the curb for free because there was just so many but uh, I don't even know, I never dug deep in here, but all these Hess trucks are in here. It's just going in the truck as is. There was a couple of these plates, which I didn't think were that cool, but someone wanted them. It's like a Sigma to taste setter. Not really sure. I really thought these were awesome. I showed them already, but I like those a lot hole. I don't know. All this pottery seems to be worth money. The hole, I don't know though. Because like Roseville and hole. So there's all these pieces. These are hole. This is a Roseville piece, I'm pretty sure. This is an old Hershey's box. Pretty cool. But not really sure of the value. Got some old school little uh, made in Thailand. It's a Mustang one. Little matchbox cars. That's probably the coolest one. It's an old sewing machine. I called a sewing machine shop actually, and he was like literally like telling me to scrap them, which I think is crazy. Cause look how cool this thing is to just scrap. I did scrap some, but I don't know. I think there's a value in them somewhere somehow. But I guess maybe he would know better than me. This thing's from like a church. It says, my Jesus mercy. I don't know, it's like a metal pendant. I'm not really sure what that's all about. But there's fishing gear in here. I think this is uh, crocheting needles. There's a cigarette in there. I don't know, I'm about to start loading up, but I just wanted to show you guys. We wanted to show you guys like just that we still have a bunch of stuff from the house like to sell. So tomorrow we're doing a flea market and we're gonna try and make as much as we can. We're putting this stuff in with the rest of what we got. 
I shouldn't even say the rest of because it's just so crazy to make that claim because there's so much stuff. But we're gonna try and put this in the truck and then add more stuff uh, to sell tomorrow. So hopefully we do well and stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, getting out there probably around seven at the flea market and then we're gonna set up and sell for probably four or five hours and then head home. So just make some extra money for the dream. But uh, yeah, blessed to have another day out here and you know, super fortunate in all, all we do. So, you know, thank the universe and thank you all for watching and supporting. And the dream continues. So never let, never let anything bring you down. Just keep pushing. Every day is a struggle to get through. And literally it's like, if you don't keep pushing, it's so easy to just give up. But um, the reward is it's always there at the end of it all. So never stop following your dreams. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more claims. You. All right, we're going to do a small load. Load it up. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in there though, so I think I'm going to put like a few more tools and a couple other things in here. But uh, we're pretty much loaded up for the for the flea market tomorrow. I got a few things in the front, but uh, this is most of what we're bringing. We're just going to be there for a few hours and see what we can do. But uh, I wanted to say, just instill the fact that no matter who you are, where you are, what help you have, what help you don't have, you know, whatever the f aspects are about your life, where you live, everything, you are the only one that's going to make your dream happen. Someone's not going to come in and save you and do it for you. And also, there's no... There's no exact formula or methodology. There's no calculation on how to make it happen. You just have to keep pushing every day. But I truly believe that if you want something bad enough, you will get it. So I'm just going for it every day. I don't I have a lot of help from, you know, Sammy, my girlfriend, hopefully soon to be wife from my family and friends and people around me that see that I'm trying to do good in this world that help me out but at the end of the day you're the only one that can make your life what you want it to be and you know no matter how hard it is no matter how pretty much I have we have no money at all right now just trying to scrape by um, luckily my dad let me use this truck or we'd have no vehicle at all so I'm fortunate beyond words to have people that support me in my life, but it's still up to me at the end of the day to make my dreams a reality. And that goes for everyone else. Um, you can squander your time on this planet or you can make the right choices and you know accomplish what you want. Because in the end, money's not gonna matter. Um, material things aren't gonna matter. What's gonna matter is that you went for it and did what you wanted with your life. You know, you don't want to look back and say, you know, what would I have done different? You want to do it now, do it right. You want to get one chance. So go out there and make it happen, boys. You!